How you guys doing today? This is Derek House from DHFTNS.com and today I'm gonna show you guys my slow cooked chicken pot pie recipe. So let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna do is take out five pounds or 80 ounces of chicken breasts and trim the fat off of them. And then chop your chicken breasts into pieces about that big. When you're done, put your mountain of chicken into the slow cooker. Add in three cans, which is 32.25 ounces or 915 grams of cream of chicken. Each can that I'm using is 10 and 3 fourths ounces or 305 grams. You also want to make sure you buy the healthy request or fat free version of whatever brand you're buying. One can which is 10 and 3 fourths ounces or 305 grams of 98% fat free cream of celery. One can which is also 10 and 3 fourths ounces or 305 grams of 98% fat free cream of mushroom. One and a half teaspoons black pepper. One teaspoon garlic salt. 1 teaspoon onion powder, 1 and a half cups or 105 grams of sliced mushrooms, 5 packets or cubes of sodium free chicken bouillon, 1 cup or 128 grams of chopped carrots, 16 ounces or around 453 grams of frozen mixed vegetables, 1 cup or 120 grams of chopped celery, Take out, wash, and chop eight medium red potatoes. However big or small you want to chop your potatoes is completely up to you. Add your chopped potatoes in. And last, wash your hands and then mix everything together with one of them. So it should look something like that before you cook it. Put the cover on, turn your slow cooker on high, and let it cook for around five to six hours. If you're looking for a slow cooker to buy, I highly recommend this one. I think it was only around 30 to $35 shipped. I'll include a link below in my description to it. I've had mine for a while now. It still looks new and works great. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe, there's 4,939, 47 grams of fat, 439 grams of carbs, and 690 grams of protein. After about five hours for me, it does look done, so I'm just gonna turn it off. And there is your slow cooked chicken pot pie. People always ask me how I portion everything out evenly. All I do is guess say 20 ounces, put 20 ounces in each one by weighing it, and then whatever's left, I just distribute it evenly. So these big ones would be two servings, and the small ones would be one serving. If for some reason you don't have a kitchen scale or can't afford one, you can honestly just eye it. It's really not that hard and at the end of the week once you finish the recipe, you'll have taken in all of the calories anyways. As you guys saw, the chicken pot pie is done, so now I'm just going to try a bite. My mouth was literally salivating waiting to try this recipe because of the smell. If you know what a chicken pot pie smells like, the crust and everything coming together, this smells identical to that. As for the taste, it tastes like a chicken pot pie. There's not much really else to say, so I'm just gonna say two thumbs up, and as I always say, it's absolutely delicious. All right guys, I just wanna thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can click right there on the screen coming up. By subscribing, you'll get an email every week telling you I upload a new video. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got some chicken pot pie to finish. Stay healthy.